Oh my goodness. Talk about a bad day. Holy cow. How does that even happen? You see this? What do you think happened here? The UI. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Man, that's a shame. That's a good looking truck. It's totaled entirely. That'll never, that'll never be a truck again, I guarantee it. Wow. That's incredible. Well, if he was sitting right there, he made it unscathed. Wow. That's crazy. That, my friends, is what happens when you take an F-150 on a joyride. Go see what we get. Look at this place. All these are up for sale right now. This whole warehouse dedicated to state surplus auctions. This is not amazing. These look like they're mine. Yep, I bought these. Don't have a clue what's really on them. I just saw one picture of each pallet and I pulled the trigger on it, so. That's some money. That thermal printer there's money. There's another thermal. There's another thermal. So who knows? That's an older fan. Come on there. Look at this. Ooh, these are up for auction right now, too. I'm going to try and get these. It's a whole lot of 50 of those. Look at all that furniture. Filing cabinets galore. Pretty amazing. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, she. Hey. Fries are done. Nice. What do you say, Papa? Think I did okay here? Well, I don't know anything about it, but there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Uh, there's my number one fan. Been looking for him. That's number two. Number two. Number two fan right there. The light of your life. <laughs> the light of my life right there. Oh my goodness. We got jokes around here. What are those? Beat the crap out of me. P touch. What if I don't want to touch the P? Cat programs. I'm gonna to have to look this up. No telling. Stapler. Electrified. Some of these right here can be some money too. Yeah, this thing right here. 
Simplex. Ooh, what is this? What is this? I don't know. Stamp liquor. I don't know. What do we got in the box here? Box. Nope. Don't know. A do to do. A do to do to do. Hmm. Let me know, guys, if you see anything worth money. This terminal right here could be worth something. That looks like a fancy one. Is that not the biggest paper shredder you've ever seen? What is this? Uh. Bellows. It's just a. Oh, it's just a. Um. You put paper on it? <laughs> What's underneath it? Typewriter. Old typewriter. No way. My gosh, that thing's huge. Look at all that ink. Wow. What's in here? Stuff. Oh, looky there. Time to get to work. I'm just waiting on this guy to come out with the paperwork, let me sign it, and then he's going to run these out outside and we're gonna put them in the box truck all right guys well we finally got it loaded up pallets are empty I took a quick look at this thing it's an IBM personal wheel rider 2 if it works that's 200 bucks and uh, no doubt in my mind we made some money here so let's get it home go through it a little bit closer and uh, we'll take a little bit more of a look Here we go. Well, you got eBay money there. I don't know so much about auction money. But oh, yeah. Yep. Time for a little hand sanitizer. You want some, Pops? Yeah. Okay. Back to the house right here. Good Lord, look at that trash pile. Yeah, really. Woo! I need to do something about it. Well, you got a truck, a right, trailer right there. What's it got in it? Trash. Imagine that. <laughs> you could fill this thing up with your dollar, that dollar twenty-nine or whatever it was. Uh, it cost me forty dollars. Yeah, forty dollars to fill this entire box truck up when it was a dollar. I think it was a dollar nineteen a gallon, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it home. Time to dig this stuff out. And see what money we really made. All right, so this right here is 25 bucks on eBay. All right, and here we have eight of these HP 57 tricolors. Um, I saw a listing sell for 60 for six packages. We have eight here, so safe to assume, $80. And here we've got a pack of three HP 56 black. These are expired, but people still buy them. All of these are expired, actually but uh, saw a listing for $35 sold, so we'll just say safely 30 bucks. All right, guys, so this is a Simplex 1603-9109. Couldn't find one exactly like it on eBay, but the few that I did find that were 1603 series, um, this is an electronic time clock. Um, sell for around $60 to $80, so we'll call this 60 bucks. What'd you find there, Pops? Fox Roberts. A box of rubbers. <laughs> That's finger, great. Finger things. Finger things. Oh yeah. Yeah. A bunch of frogs on those. those are fancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, how different are you? Those are ribbed, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh my goodness. This this is a box of stuff right oh. here. Oh yeah. All right, we're going to go through this. I doubt there's anything special, but I'll let you know. Oh, yeah. We've got loads and loads of staples in staples there. Staples or paper clips of all sorts. What's this? Quantity three staple cartridges. Probably for this thing right here. Oh. Wow. That's nice. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, those are weird. I yep. must say they're weird. They go to something in particular. Let's see what this thing works. This goes to a cannon. This is something I might need to look up. Who yep. knows? Everything else, though, is just... Well, you need to hold on to that because that goes to something. Clock, it says. A clock? Yeah, a clock. Maybe it's to that... Maybe Might the time. Oh, thing. I think so. Hey guys, check it, check it, check it out. There you go. It's together now. Yep. You're pretty smart, Popo. Labor rider. Broken, it says. Oh no! Dang it! Don't tell me that. This is all stuff right here, guys. All this right here is just stuff we're not interested in. Guys, look at this. This is a post-tech uh, something. Automatic, what's this say? Automatic Business Machines Corporation. That's what, it's made in the USA. Let me see the is that side a, here. Is that a, uh, I, don't, I, don't want... I don't have a clue what this is. Uh, it's that looks like guides. A copying machine. So it's a automatic business machine incorporated. HF two hundred. Uh, don't have a clue what it is. I looked all over the interwebs, couldn't find anything. If you have any idea what in the world we have here, please leave a comment down below. Let us know what it is that we've got here. Second fold scale. Oh. You know what? I think I figured it out. To reduce up. I think it's a paper folding machine. Paper fold. Yeah, like it automatically folds paper to send in envelopes. Okay, that makes sense. I think that's what it is. I don't see that you'd have a hell of a lot of meat for that. Well, if you're sending a thousand envelopes. Are you sending a thousand envelopes? Not me. There you go. <laughs> <Sell> it. <laughs> Well, guys, I was trying to find that post-tech uh, paper folder. Couldn't find anything on eBay. Um, but similar ones were selling for about $200. So we're going to call it $200. Bucks. All right, guys. This right here is an IBM Personal Wheel Rider 2. Yes, we're missing a couple of keys and a couple more over here. But... I could buy the keys on eBay to replace them if I chose to do that, but I'm not going to choose to do that. Um, these can sell for a lot of money, but in the condition that it's in, I bet we can get $100. Sometimes, if they're professionally restored, they can go three to $400, but we're going to probably get about 100 bucks out of this. All right, guys, these are uh, little label printers, Brother P-Touch PT-80. These are worth $20 a piece. We have two of them. All right, guys. We got ourselves a vintage Panasonic automatic pencil sharpener. Uh, tell me you ain't cool if you got this sitting on your corporate desk. This this will get you a raise right here. 35 bucks right here. Well, I thought that these two heavy-duty swing line staplers would be worth something, but uh, nope. Well, guys, this Monroe Classic calculator here is a whopping 75 bucks. I'll take it. Okay, so what Papa's got... Yeah, it's it's expired for sure. But what Papa's got is some of this. We've got four. Uh, we saw a <laughs> listing sold on eBay for 35 for three. So I think we've got $40 pretty easily there. 40 bucks. 11 years old. 11 years, wait, you said it expired 2008? Yeah. 11 years old. That's all right, we'll still sell it. All right, guys, we got a First Data FD-130 credit card machine. How much do you think that's worth, Pops? What? Just give me a guess. What do you think this right here is worth? I'd say 15 bucks. Nope, try again. $100. For that thing? Yeah. That's 100 bucks. Sell it. <laughs> hundred dollars okay guys got more ink here obviously all of it is still expired but um still sells this still 
still sells on eBay expired brand new we've got nine packages here ninety dollars we just went through this box and uh, we didn't go through this box I just did you did I did there's nothing really worth anything except for this this is cool of course I'm not gonna sell this on eBay it's gonna go in a uh, stationary lot in my auction uh, and uh, this is lot. yeah office lot you said stationary what's the difference stationary is what you ride or office is what you do business with oh okay it's gonna go in an office lot along with a lot of this stuff and some of that some of that's a little too big but a lot of this stuff anyways guys uh, this is an ace liner model number 502 made in USA you just don't find them like this anymore. What was it valued at eBay? Uh, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. 25 bucks for this stapler on eBay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you're interested, I have YouTube auctions, in case you didn't know. And they're live auctions on this channel until June 15th. Then we are moving the auctions to my new channel. Definitely check out the description below on this video to get the link to subscribe to the new channel where we'll be holding our auctions starting June 15th. All right guys, next is a Radio Shack MPA-101 100 watt PA amplifier. This sucker will sell for 80 bucks. All right guys, this is an old GE cassette recorder and player. This thing is $65 on eBay. All right, guys, and this little San, Sanyo forehead real-time video cassette recorder, SRT-4040. The only one on eBay currently they're asking $90 for. No sold listings, so we'll just assume that this is worth $90. Bucks. Here we have a Sony Hi-Fi stereo cassette uh, player. Or, I'm sorry, VHS player. And uh, it's slv n 81 this sucker on ebay 90 bucks as if this was ever necessary i don't know why they even brought this up but it's a panasonic electric letter opener this thing sells very quick on ebay for 50 bucks you get fans in your house you got a couple really those old fans are really neat oh yeah yep guys this is a uh art specialty company um uh, from chicago uh, flex arm desk lamp this thing's from mid-century probably around the 60s this is worth 60 bucks papa this is crazy this is crazy <laughs> look at this library of congress national library service for the blind and physically handicapped it's a cassette player okay yeah model number c1 wow this is insane. How much do you think this is worth? Not Don't have much to me. <laughs> yeah. This is worth two hundred twenty-five dollars. Is that not crazy? What's for the blind? Is it? Yeah. It's it's just specialized. It's easy for a, easy for them to play. That's been a while ago since that stuff was made. We don't mess with these things now. Right? <laughs> well, act, believe it or not, cassettes are coming back in style. Crazy, isn't it? How many of them cassettes you think you've thrown away in your lifetime? Oh, I don't throw them away. Oh. I don't buy them if they're no good, and I keep them if they are. There you I go. A lot of them that I made myself, probably about 400 of them I made myself. Wow. Off of LPs. Yeah, you record the LPs yeah. on the cassette. I remember when you were doing that. Yeah. I was just a wee little kid. That's cool. I used to rewind these cassettes. The fastest way to rewind them is using a number two pencil. These are huge. They're probably what? Three foot tall. Got uh, this is a huge tray here. That's a Fellows Power Shred right here. Uh, C dash one twenty C. Pretty much a paper shredder, industrial paper shredder. Got two of them here. None of them on eBay, but uh, the cheapest one I could find used online was nearly four hundred dollars. So we're gonna chalk this up to. Three hundred and eighty dollars each. All right, guys. We have a uh, Boston twenty six eighteen, very large paper cutter. This thing sells on eBay for seventy five bucks. 
Guys, you would not believe it if I told you, but something special about these little tube TVs. If you get them with the VHS player, like that one right there, they can be worth some money. This one in particular, it's a little one, like 13 inch. This is worth $165. All right, guys, I've got uh, one, two, three, four of these Label Rider 450s. This one says it's broken. I'm not going to believe it. It might just be jammed, but we're not going to count that one. $50 each, so this is $150 right here. Guys, so the single Label Rider 400 Turbo that I have is worth $40, so not too bad. And we have two, the Label Rider, Label Rider 400s. These are $30 each, so there's an extra 100 bucks. Nice, not bad for a $330 haul. This is all stuff I'm keeping right here. And those, and these. This is all stuff I'm not keeping. I'm not keeping this. A lot of this I'm probably, like I said, gonna lot up and try to sell in the auction. And stuff over there too. How ironic is that? What, the, 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 the paper cutter risk is from risk side. management? <laughs> well, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, I'm really liking these surplus auctions. Uh, we spent $330, and we made a whopping, or we have the potential to make a whopping $2,695. bucks. Well, what that's not counting what you can sell on this stuff for the auction, you know. Office lot. There's good stuff oh, yeah. here. Yeah, that's what we need for, but you have an office. There's a lot of really good stuff that costs a lot of money to play. Yeah, that's the truth. Um, and at the end of the day, maybe, just maybe, we'll make it to where we uh, 10 times our money. Really close. We're really close. Quite possible. Anyways, guys, till next time, we'll catch you later.